Hey, I'm Jeff from Rive, and I'm going to show you how to set up a solo group to be data bound to an enum. And to start off, I will go ahead and delete all of the data binding stuff I have set up here and show you what I've got. So I'm going to go ahead and just unbind this. And I'm starting off with just a solo group that has these four layers in it. Each has a character that uh, corresponds to a color. And what I want to do is come over to my artboard and add a view model. And in that view model, I want to add an enum. And when you add an enum, you get a bunch of default choices. And you can also create your own enum by um, adding one here. So we're going to add enum. I'm going to call it um, cares enum so that I know what it is. And here is where I want to add the names of the four group names that I have. So I have red, green, blue, and perp. And these need to be an exact match to the names of the solos so that it knows which one to find. So now that I have the solo created on my enum property over here, I can choose that option. So now I have this enum set to be um, one of these four choices. So back in my hierarchy, I go to the solo itself, and here is where I can right click on which solo is active and data bind it to the enum property. And it's gonna turn green, but it won't actually work yet. And we'll see that when we enter the state machine. And if I give it a property, see that it's not actually updating. And that is because, um, and even if I give this uh, a default one, it's still gonna be empty. That's because this input is expecting a text string. So we need to apply a convert to string converter for that. So under string, convert to string, we can add that. And back over here on the binding, I can update it and add convert to string. Now, when I play this, it will update my character with the data bound enum. The other thing I can do is listen for changes. So when that enum changes, I can have this transition between my two jump timelines here. And so what I'll do is set a condition for on those transitions. And I'll say if the enum property uh, does not equal itself, then it can transition, which will cause the jump to happen. So it jumps when it first comes in, and when you change it, it will jump again. And to make sure that this works at runtime, since the data bind is expecting a string, uh, you want to make sure to select the names of your solos and choose export name. And that will make sure that they are available at runtime, and you can tell that they're ready to export when they have the brackets around them. That will make sure that this enum binding will work at runtime.